Hello everybody, welcome back to Bacon Creepy's tutorial channel survival series as it were. Now looking around you can see I got a pretty nice place. I've got lots of materials in here, pretty set. But if you notice, today we're going to work on this workbench. After you get yourself a forge, it is the companion piece to your forge. You're going to build the raw materials in your forge and then after you build those said raw materials, you're going to take them over to your workbench and you're going to craft them into other workable items, tools, all kinds of things. I'm going to show you if I type in turret, I can make a an auto turret in there if I have the right materials. I can make all the kinds of things like mailboxes, cabinet tops apparently, battery banks, blade traps, those are electrical items. There's uh, hunting knives here. You got sledgehammers, you got a crucible right there. All kinds of items that you can make only here inside of the workbench. So you can see where this is a really useful item. Every single house needs one if you're gonna get past a certain strength in the game. And after you get your forge going, this is just the next logical step. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a workbench from scratch. So go to your crafting menu. You hit tab or uh, go into your inventory and go to your crafting menu, type in workbench. And as you can see, there's a skill required for your workbench. You can't just use it right away. You have to go into your skill tree, type in workbench there, or search it out. And it takes 10 points to unlock it. It takes toolsmithing 2 and construction tools 5. Now, if you don't know where those are at, go and just type the word tool up here, and that should bring both up. And you can see you have toolsmithing and you have construction tools both right there. Very important skills to have in general. You're going to want to have both those. They help with... Um, creation of better tools, uh, tools with higher quality, and then they also help with uh, construction tools is how effective your tools work sometimes, like your hammers and nail guns and whatnot. So to make this, we're gonna need forged iron, mechanical parts, wrench, claw hammer, and wood. Now, if you remember in the last video I did where I showed you how to make the forge, you can make forged iron pretty much right away out of clay and iron. So I'm not gonna show you how to get that again because we can just make that on our forge. But we're gonna go out in the rest of the world and we're gonna find what we need specifically what we're looking for is that wrench because everything else we can get without having trouble but the wrenches you have to find them in the world you can't make a wrench without a workbench and you can't get a workbench without using a wrench so you simply have to find one and since they are hard to find i have a very specific spot that i kind of want to go and take us to now right here on the map i'm gonna put that up right there you can see way down here in this uh i like to call this area the the broken Way down here in the Broken, uh, there's this uh, Days Inn Motel down here. It's past the burn area, it's down here, and the motels, I think, are a great place to look for them. There's other places, there's other uh, hotels, apartment buildings. Uh, I like this one for a specific reason. Um, but uh, what you're really looking for are buildings that have many rooms close together that have bathrooms in them all. So um, once you find a room like that, if you go from bathroom to bathroom, there's a high chance of finding wrenches underneath the sinks. Now you can look for wrenches in other places, the working stiff, you can look for it um, at the traders, but with those you're relying on uh, um, luck. And honestly, I really find that I have much more luck looking for a wrench inside these small apartments. So approaching the days and suites right now. This is the place I like to go because as you can see, there's a couple of stories of apartments here. Each of those rooms has a bathroom in it. And then each bathroom is actually right next to the bathroom prior to that. So I like to use this one going through it from room to room, uh, checking each bathroom. And um, it's you can do this with minimal uh, exposure to enemies coming out and sneaking up on you. And so you pop through the first door, pop through the bathroom. Inside the bathroom, you have a typical bathroom, a sink, a toilet. Uh, you can find a lot of materials in all these, but I'm just focused on the wrench today. So I'm really just looking in the places where I expect to find one. Now, this is why I like this place is because you could just go straight through the walls from bathroom to bathroom. I'm not really too worried about destroying this toilet and this other stuff, but you go from one to the next, and if you just give it a couple of rooms, uh, maybe uh, five or six, you're going to find a wrench no matter what. So checking this room over here, uh, again, you just open up the back door. Um, there's uh, This is probably maybe like my sixth room. I went ahead and skipped ahead because I want to show you the meat of it. If you look, two wrenches right there, two of them, a 178, a 325. Um, I, 
that's the thing. Just keep checking. Just keep checking. I'm on the bottom floor. I didn't want to have to show you all six rooms. I thought, let's just jump ahead to this one, the, the, the meat of it all. And that's how easy it can be to find a wrench. So you just want to look for, like, the hospital's a good place, any of the apartment buildings, any of the motels. Um, you can do house by house, but you're only going to find one or two sinks in each house. That's why I like using these places a lot. So uh, it's a great place to find a wrench. Now that we've found our wrench, we can... Uh, pretty much make our workbench. We're gonna have to get mechanical parts, but that is a snap. Let me go and show you how to do that. So the easiest place to find wrenches is honestly cars. They're everywhere. So there's a busted one right here. You switch to the same wrench we just found and we're looking for mechanical parts. So find a car, pull over and just start wrenching it. You notice it's giving you uh, iron and short iron pipes and gas, but it's also giving you mechanical parts. Now um, you're gonna need, I think it was 20. So you can have to wrench apart a few cars, but really it shouldn't take very long at all. Now, if you don't wanna look for cars, there's other places to find these uh, resources also. For instance, one of the best items you can get a mechanical parts out of, shopping carts. Look how simple that is. They're everywhere. You've seen them everywhere, but not just shopping cart. Yeah, remember our friend Mr. Refrigerator from earlier? Oh yeah, even he gives you mechanical parts, so they're everywhere. They're everywhere. We only need 20, we found like 100 on the road. Now that we have our materials, let's go back to the base and let's put this workbench together. We'll go down to our base, we'll go down to uh, where I have a nice huge space open. You're going to want to keep it near your other materials, near your forges. You're going to want to put some um, some chests, some storage chests behind it so that you can uh, start separating out your materials because you're going to want to create a chest that is specifically meant for um, your construction materials uh, so it's easier to craft. So the next thing we're going to need is a hammer. This is an easy one. Just type the word hammer in your, in your uh, search bar there. As you can see, it's just forged iron and wood. I went ahead and made some forged iron uh, ahead of time. It only takes 12, not very much at all. Out of the forge, really the first day you get the forge, if you put metal and clay in it, you can get forged iron right away. So go ahead and make that hammer. And now that we have all of our ingredients meant for our workbench, let's go ahead and go back to where we want to place it. I'm going to place it next to that forge that we did the other day. So we have the hammer here. We have the wood, the wrench, the mechanical parts, and the forged iron. Now, I'd like to point out, I have two wrenches on me. Take note here. One is a 325 and one is a 178. Take out the higher level wrench that you want to keep out of your inventory. When you create your workbench, it will automatically default and grab the highest level wrench you have on you. So if you have a junky wrench and a really nice wrench, take your good one out, leave the crappy one inside your inventory, and the workbench will use that one to create it. Same thing goes with the hammers or anything else. But once you get it created, um, it's going to pop up in your inventory. You're going to simply take it out of your inventory and you're going to put it inside your toolbar just like everything else. But if you notice here, my wrenches, the 320 something is gone and the 178 remains. So I was trying to show you what happens when you have two wrenches in your inventory. So when placing this down, um, obviously don't put it in the center of your room unless you intend it to be there. I'm going to put it in the corner over here where it's out of the way. You can use your left trigger if you want to swivel it around as you can see, um, but there's a front and a back to it. You can access it from all angles, so you really don't have to have it pointing any specific direction. You can actually hide it inside a crack of a wall if you want, and it would still work. Now that we have that, you can see we can make all kinds of stuff. I got myself a, a short iron pipe, which I don't need that, but I might need it later for crafting other items. I might be short something. But here's something that it's actually really good for. So my tool smithing is at 10, which means I'm making level 500 iron pickaxes. Now, if I take the forged iron, I make two more pickaxes, I'll have a total of three of them on me. It's gonna take me just a minute to create them, but I'm showing you something that the workbench can do to improve the quality of your tools beyond what you can make. So my limit being 500, uh, uh, should make it so that 500 is the maximum, but we can get our tools above that. Now that I made three iron pickaxes all at level 500, we can take them over to the workbench. And once you open up the workbench, if you look in the top right, there's that window that says combine. Now I could take a pickaxe, place it in the item A, take another one, place it in B, and it combines two 500s into a 550. But that's not all. No, wait, there's more. I could take that 550, put it back in item A, take out an item B, put the 500 in there, and now I have an item C, the result being that level 600 iron pickaxe. So um, basically that is one thing you could do with your workbench is you could take items of, of similar type and you could combine them in there to either repair them or improve the quality. Now that the quality is higher, when I hit rocks with it, I do more damage and I gain more materials back. 
If I missed anything in here and you want to let me know, please let me know that in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more of these because I'm going to be doing tutorials on all of these videos. If you enjoy the format, if you'd like to see me change something up, or if you have an idea for something that you'd like to see me do, or simply have a question, of course, reach out to me. I'm always here. Uh, join me in my Discord below. It's a really great way to get a hold of me. Follow my Twitter um, if you don't want to miss out on live streams, especially when I have my Alpha 17 preview weekend next weekend here. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you all in the future. You have a nice day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.